shadow of the tie and the shadow of my head taking everything else out. So that is a common technique of the noir style, is a strong light source and a lot of shadows. So let me show you the original image. This is just a picture that I had taken myself. So you can see that this was obviously a color photo. Um, I did have the strong light source. I used the sun in this case, but you can easily use a spotlight. Noir used to be designed to just be cheap. So you could have a single light source um, or a handful of light sources. It was the alternative to the big budget pictures that were going on in the 40s and the 50s. Um, and it's black and white. They created a lot of character and you learn a lot about the characters. I didn't plan that, but it works. <laughs> uh, based on how dark uh, and how much shadows they had cast. Okay, uh, so let's just get started in it. I saved this as a raw file format, so then when you open it up in Photoshop, it's gonna open with Camera Raw. I'm running 7.0 and I'm running uh, CS6. I know that there's an update for Camera Raw, I just haven't got around to it. Um, if you're running CC, there's more stuff you can do than I can do with adjustment brushes and that kind of stuff, um, but this is going to be with Photoshop CS6. Okay, so um, you can mess with the exposure and contrast a little bit here. I am actually just going to leave it as is for now. The white balance you can mess with, but it's gonna kind of mess up my hue. So I don't like doing daylight or auto. I'm just gonna leave it as shot right now. See how it's got a nice little blue kind of gray neutral tone to it? Um, I kind of like the way that that looks, especially because we're gonna return to black and white pretty shortly. So what we're going to do after we're done with it, uh, we really didn't mess with it too much, we're just going to open the image up, okay? Okay, so now we're open. Obviously, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to unlock this background layer. So we're going to do back. And now we're all set there. What I'd like to do first is I am going to change the uh, black and white. So this is the adjustments panel, which you can also find under image adjustments you can find black and white here or if you set up this along your toolbar here you can find black and white right here so we're going to do this and now you can change presets of a bluer a darker greener um, I'm going to do a darker just because I I like that darker style and we're going to be messing with it later um, you can kind of mess with the colors I don't think they honestly change too much um, the yellows I do like crank so I'm going to leave that as is I'm going to turn down the blues a little bit because that's a light blue. Um, it's probably about there. Again, really aren't going to see a radical change. So. so, we got that started. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to select the, the person in the picture, okay? So what we're going to do for that is we are going to go over here to the quick selection tool. And what we're going to do is we are going to select everything that's not me, and then we're going to select the inverse. So that's kind of a general idea. And now we're going to do select inverse. All right, so now we got that selected. Now what I'm going to do is go over here to the minus brush, subtract from selection, and we're just going to paint along here. We're going to paint along here. We're going to paint there. This isn't quite perfect, so we'll change that. We're gonna grab my nose. This kind of cut off, oops. I'm gonna leave that and I'll just delete it. Um, and I also noticed that it cut off my arm here, so we're gonna add to that. And also that. And subtract. You kind of get the general idea though, right? It, nothing here is too wild or crazy to be honest with you. This is bothering me with the corner, but, um, and before we do that, we're going to convert this to a smart object, and then we're going to refine the edge. Alright, I fixed it, kid. 
refine the edge. We're going to go to feather, feather it about there. We're going to do to new layer and we're going to press OK. So it automatically deselects this bad guy. OK, so now you can see that we got this here. Now what we're going to do is deselect this and on our back layer, we're going to bring up our exposure. So we are going to go right here to exposure. And now we are going to turn this exposure way, 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 way down. So I'm thinking probably about, probably about there is what I'm going to think. Um, turn this on just to kind of get an idea. How dark you really want it. If you can see, we're adjusting just the exposure of that back layer. So I'm thinking probably about this, probably where I'm going to want it. That's about right. Okay, so we got the exposure shot on the back layer. Now what we're going to do is, with the back copy, which I'm going to do me, just name me just so I can remember what's going on, I'm going to press exposure again. Now I'm going to turn down the exposure just a little bit here. Okay. So now that the exposure is done there, what we're going to do next is we're going to do a little touch ups here. So there's some imperfections that came up here and you see there's some light source which still gets back here and I have like an ethereal glow at the back of my head which I'm not big on. And one more thing that we're going to do left is we are going to kind of crank the contrast just so I shine a little bit further. That is all. Um, I'm going to actually just tinker with the uh, exposure a little bit. I'm going to de-expose it just a little bit more. Okay. So let's... Uh, kind of get going here. We are going to go to the brush. And what we're going to do is we are going to first find something that matches. So we're going to want to match the back of my head to that color right there. Now we're going to bring the brush in and very carefully just paint along there. See now it's gone. So we got that. Now next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the brush of the selector again. And see this little line right here? I don't like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend that in, pick that color, grab the brush again, take care of that. And we also got a little one here. So let's change the brush. Probably going to be around the same color. But I just want it to match so you can't tell. That's taken care of. Um, and I still, it's, there's a little dot there which I'm not huge on either, so I'm going to grab the brush. Grab out there. And touch that up. There you go! See how easy those quick adjustments were? And I'm just doing some little adjustments here. Because you can see it caught a little more than this shirt when I had done my quick selection. Okay, so the really only last thing that we have left is we are going to be just adding one more exposure. Um, and by exposure, I mean we're really just going to be cranking the brightness. So what I like to do for this is I'm going to save the whole image first. So we're going to go to image, image size. What I have was massive. I don't need it that big. So let me do make the width about 2000. I make my height about 1300. I'm going to do that going to save as Photoshop demo. We're going to save it as JPEG. Going to have baseline optimized. I'm going to do quality of 12. See, it's not even that big of a file size. Um, okay, we're all saved. Now what I'm going to do is turn it safe. Open up Photoshop demo. I'm going to bring over brightness and contrast. I'm going to bring the brightness up quite a bit and bring the contrast up quite a bit as well, just to where it looks about right. And there you have it, guys. That's how you do a quick and easy photo style in Photoshop, taking a color image and turning it into a non-color image. Be sure to do all the good things, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Until then, take care.